everyone and welcome to YouTube Tuesday session 156 with me Jessica Brigden of Just Be Creative Cardiology. Hello, hello, happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a great start to your week. Warm and hot and sticky here in New York and I'm feeling a little bit tropical or at least wishing I was at a tropical destination because it certainly feels tropical out here. So we are going to be doing some fun travel inspired cards today using the, my new favorite, circle sayings here. This is a great one. And I'm going to combine that with a super fun stamp set called Next Destination. If you love to travel and then this is the stamp set for you, whether you're making cards or doing your scrapbooks, any of that, love this stamp set, love anything travel related, uh, beachy, all of that. I love all of that. <laughs> so we are going to be using these two amazing stamp sets today and we're going to combine them with the bright and beautiful designer series paper. So we're going, we're going bright. We're going to be using some new lemon lolly. We'll be using the new Tahitian Tide. So we've got the tropical print going on <laughs> and then we've got a little bit of berry burst in there too. So fun colors today for our tropical destination adventure cards. <laughs> I think you're really going to love those. Let me know what your favorite travel destination is. <laughs> Drop that in the comments. Uh, today's an exciting video too because uh, last week we surpassed the 2900 subscriber mark. So we are now just 96 subscribers away from the 3000 mark here at the Just Be Creative Cardiology channel. So I'm excited. So I'm doing a card giveaway today. I asked everyone who watched last week's video to please leave me a comment whether that was live or in the replay so i went through this afternoon everybody that left me a comment on friday's video and i have a fun drawing so we are going to be giving away the two cards that we make today we have a couple of winners so i'm going to flip the camera we're going to get started here and I will announce those winners. So make sure you're leaving me comments. Let me know you're here. All right. Since today's cards are travel themed, all right, using this next destination stamp set, let me know what your favorite vacation destination is or the favorite place that you've traveled. All right. And um, yeah, so we're going to give the cards that we make today away. All right, so our two winners I entered, we had 18 different entries. All right, so we had from the random name picker, I put them all in on the computer to randomly pick them. All right, and so our winners are Nancy Gardner and Teresa Foster. So Nancy and Teresa, congratulations to both of you. And thank you to everyone who left me a comment. I really appreciate it. All right, so <laughs> your comments really do matter. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Terry. Hi, David, my hubby. Hi, Sandy. Ooh, Sandy loves Maine and Hilton Head. Yes, those are fabulous. We are uh, partial to the Myrtle Beach area ourselves, actually. Oh, Terry loves any beach or cruise. Terry, do you have a favorite cruise destination? I always thought we love the Caribbean. We've done that many, many times. We've done Alaska twice. I really love Alaska, but you know what? Our recent cruise to Norway, that really rivaled Alaska. I, I think I might, that's a hard choice whether I liked Norway or Alaska better. I'm really not sure. Mm, all right, loving these. Hi, Margaret. Oh, she says, yes, it's smoky in he and here in New York too. It's been smoky the last couple of days. We've had those, um, you know, poor air quality warnings around. Oh, wow. Wendy has been to some exotic places. She says Singapore was her favorite. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Honestly, I think the most exotic place that we have been, which is total trip of a lifetime, was um, back in, was it 2017 when we went to Thailand with Stampin' Up. That was that was crazy. It was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. I'm loving seeing all of these fun travel places that you guys enjoy visiting or have been. Uh, Terry says Caribbean everywhere. 
enjoys it. St. Thomas, St. Martin, beautiful. Ah, love it. So what's exciting too is that annual catalog stamp sets here, okay? So this is this is the annual catalog that just came out in May. All right, and so Stampin' Up! just announced, they, they gave us a little heads up yesterday that annual catalog stamp sets are going to be discounted 15%. All right, coming up on tomorrow. That's tomorrow, Wednesday, which is what, the 19th? Okay, so Stampin' Up's having a one day only 15% off all annual catalog stamp sets tomorrow only, which is pretty exciting. Hi, Nessa, how are you? Ooh, Borneo, that's exciting. I, I've never, yeah, obviously never been there. That sounds nice, but yeah, when you're on, um, when you live in that part of the globe, I think some of those destinations are a little closer. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Oh, good, the start is, smoke is starting to dissipate in Montana. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it has been a crazy summer weather-wise here. And we've been having smoky, smoky air in New York here again, too. Oh, so yes, keep leaving me those fun travel destination comments. All right. The other thing I want you guys to leave me a comment on, tell me what your favorite stamp set is. All right. Do you have a favorite stamp set from this new catalog? Is it Circle Sayings? Maybe your new favorite after today's video will be Travel Destination. I also love this one, the sweet and precious. How, I mean, everybody needs an adorable sloth stamp. Is that not the cutest? <laughs> Aw. All right, so we're going to be playing with these today. All right, the 15% off stamp sale starts tomorrow. All right, so make sure to get your list ready. All right, my July host code is A726K69K. All right. And I have a little, a little bonus to sweeten the deal here. I have a whole slew of brand new host only stamp sets from previous uh, promotions. All right, so anybody that orders $50 worth of product, it doesn't have to just be stamps. All right, anybody who orders $50 worth of product from me tomorrow can choose a free stamp set here. And I have multiples of, of most of these. I have a special moments, perfect loop pomegranate, beautifully happy, scenic garden, got sending support. I have a whole bunch, okay? So I will um, take a photo and list these. But if you order $50 or more from my online store tomorrow uh, using my code, then you can choose a free stamp set. And even better, because I have a bunch, if you order $75 or more tomorrow, all right, then you can choose two stamp sets. How about that? <laughs> all right, so exciting things there. I will uh, list a bunch of stamp sets that I have available that you guys can, can choose from. I have so many, it's, it's crazy. All right, when you've been doing this for 17 years, you end up, you can end up with a pretty good uh, acquisition of stamps. <laughs> All right, so yes, let me know what your favorites are. And I see that Karen mentioned layering leaves. Yes, this is actually, I was gonna show you guys a couple of mine. Of course, we're playing with Circle Sayings in Next Destination today. But a couple of my top faves are the layering leaves. This one has a coordinating, this is the Bow Punch. Um, these were never bundled, but they are designed to coordinate together and if you enjoyed the cards that we made last Tuesday all right make sure you go back and watch that video um, I used the layering leaves with the bow punch love the sentiments on this I'll give you guys a heads up here in the US the bow punch is on low inventory so if layering leaves and the bow punch are on your um, your wish list then make sure you get ready to place that order right away okay before the bow punch goes out of stock a couple other favorites that I have not had a chance to use yet, but you'll see in coming videos, which are a little bit outside um, my usual zone, are these whimsical sets called Bird's Eye View and Just My Type. They're a little more cutesy than I generally go for, 
but I have been seeing the most adorable projects with these and uh, they are quickly becoming a couple of my favorites. So I'm excited to be using bird's eye view and just my type. And then another one, which I created a card with and then the stamps hat has like quickly disappeared off of my shelf or gotten buried somewhere is I was looking for it. Is the marvelous nature one? All right, let me let me show you that here as well. All right, I made the most gorgeous tutorial card for it for next month, page one hundred and six here. Marvelous nature, love this. It's so simple, but it's absolutely beautiful. Love it. All right, so those are a couple of my top faves. All right. Um, I will, I've had a couple of questions um, from my team and things, so I'll share those um, answers with you. That if you are trying to decide between getting the stamp set by itself or a bundle, all right, I did the math and the bundles, whether they be punch bundles or stamp and die bundles, the bundle pricing reflects a 10% discount on both the stamps and the dies. So the bundle pricing is still the better deal, okay? So the stamp sets tomorrow will be 15% off. But if you if there's a bundle, the bundle pricing is still the better deal. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so just to clarify that the bundles are still the better deal. However, when it comes to sets like, like the layering leaves and the bow punch, those items, though they're designed to work together, they coordinate, they are not bundled. So in this case, get your layering leaves set at the 15% off discount and then go ahead and get your bow punch too. Okay, so I hope that um, clarifies a few things for you there. All right, so let's get started making a couple of these fun travel inspired cards. Like I said, hi, Kathy. Hello. Um, Karen, I have not heard about a die cut sale. Um, that is not something that has been announced. Um, haven't heard anything about it. What is coming is the mini catalog. The fall, winter, holiday mini catalog will be um, coming in... So a demo pre-order is in August, and then it goes live to customers um, in September. So they changed things around. What is happening in August is the redemption for the bonus days coupons. So I forgot about to mention that too. So that's the other thing with a $50 purchase is that you get a $5 bonus days coupon. Um, stamp it up emails that to you. And what that is is a coupon code that you can use on any order in August. All right, so that goes even better. So if you place a $50 order tomorrow, you'll get your bonus days coupon and you'll also get your choice of a free stamp set from me. So, woohoo, awesome. Oh, Margaret, I love the taco set too, super cute. <laughs> yeah, Karen, they change up the promotions every year to keep us on our toes. <laughs> they certainly do. <laughs> Sometimes it is hard to, to keep track of it all. Oh, hi, Luann. How are you? I have lots of adhesive in my tape dispenser today. <laughs> oh, all right. Just checking your comments there. Okay. Yes. Wendy was reminding me about the bonus days coupons. Awesome. And thank you, Nessa, for the thumbs up. Woohoo. Okay. So I've been chatting a lot here. Our first card uses the new core color, a new subtle. This is Lemon Lolly. All right, so we've got our five and a half by eight and a half card base. We will fold and score that here at four and a quarter. And we're going to set that aside. Our next layer, look, I even cut a layer for the inside. How about that? I never remember to do that for these videos. So I am on it today. It's just basic white four by five and a quarter. I'm going to stick that inside before I forget. We'll see if I remember that for card number two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our layers start pretty simple here. We're using Tahitian Tide. All right, so like I said, I was feeling kind of tropical. This uh, intense humidity has, has got me feeling like I live in the tropics, even though it's upstate New York. 
All right, so our Tahitian Tide layer is also four by five and a quarter. We are going to use a basic white layer, just a quarter of an inch smaller at three and three quarter by five. Then we're going to pair in some, this is the Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper stock. It's a six by six. It's a 48 sheet stock. I've uh, gotten it down to just the uh, 12 main sheets here. All right, so you can see some of these fun patterns. We've got lots of color again. You guys know I love color, but we've got our lemon lolly. We've got some Tahitian Tide. We've got blueberry bushel and berry burst and night of navy, all kinds of fun stuff. That's just a sampler here. Backside here, we've got stars and celebration balloons, all kinds of fun stuff. But out of this, I have chosen a wave pattern. Actually, I've used most of it. All right, so I have a two inch section, two inches by two inches by five. Okay, that's the piece that's going to go on here. All right, hi Sherry, hello, hello. Doing well, thanks for popping in. All right, make sure I leave my basic white out here. All right, so I went ahead out of all these fun bright colors because like I said, I was feeling tropical. I thought this would be a good paper pack to pair with that. And I ended up going with this one because even though I like the stripes and kind of the little crosshatch, I thought the wave, this looked kind of like a wave. There's little loop-de-loops. I thought the wave pattern would be fun. All right. So we are going to combine that wave pattern. All right. We're going to put these together. I have a, another little tip for you guys and that is before you get gluing all right because we're going to layer these all Tahitian Tide is going to be sandwiched there in the middle and nobody's going to see it so guess what I'm going to take my two and three eighths circle punch that goes with our circle sayings here our bundle and I'm going to come right into the middle you could do it on the edge wherever you want but just take a chunk here out of that Tahitian Tide layer and punch yourself a two and three eighths circle. Boom. All right, love it when you can conserve like that. All right, so now we're gonna say that that's going to be one of our, our layers on here. All right, I'm gonna try to be good and tell you what, <laughs> not just tell you, but show you. Uh, if you're gonna do your stamping, sometimes it is easier to do that first because that way, if you make a boo-boo, you have a second chance, right? You can always flip the paper over. So I'm going to use the Explore, Dream, Discover stamp today. All right, the next destination, this is the cling mount with the red rubber, whereas the circle sayings, this one is the photopolymer here, okay? And I'm going to use the Tuxedo Black Memento ink for all of my stamping today and then we'll be coloring some of our images with our stampin' blends. All right so take this tuxedo black memento and because this is a linen pad it's not as you know not quite as juicy. All right we're going to go ahead and ink up that stamp and we're going to put this in the top left corner of our paper here. Like I said it's it's a good idea to do this first to make sure you get it nice and straight because, you know, if, if you're having an off day and you get a little crooked, then that way you could always flip it over. All right, but I actually did a really good job on that. I'm proud of myself there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to adhere, now that my sentiment is stamped, adhere this basic white layer. Notice I didn't put any in the middle because, because I've got a hole in my Tahitian Tide where I punched out that circle, okay? So we're going to put that on. Now we're going to take our, our wave pattern from the bright and beautiful paper stack. All right, again, this is two inches by five. And we're going to adhere this to the bottom. All right, so we're starting fairly simple with our layers here. We're just building, building some fun designs. Okay, then we're going to take, this is the sheer ribbon combo pack. Has Tahitian Tide, Lemon Lolly, and the new um, Bubble Bath. Okay, so I'm 
Cheese and pie has been my, my favorite. All right, so we are going to take our Tahitian tie. And do you guys, can you see that on the video? It's got this fun little sparkly silver border on it. It's really cute. All right, so cut that a little bit longer than the width of your panel. And then we'll flip this over to adhere the ribbon to the back. And this time you can go ahead, put a little adhesive right there in that center. Okay, so use that ribbon to hide the seam where your designer paper meets your basic white cardstock. All right, just hook those nicely behind and then mount that on the card base. Okay, isn't that a fun combo? Lemon Lolly and Tahitian Tide. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to save this. We're going to do our little knot later. And we've got our two and three eighths circle that was punched out of our Tahitian Tide. All right, now we need a we need a white layer and we're going to use our circle sayings. And can you guess my favorite stamp from this whole set is the fun little wave in the in the sun there. Love that. All right, so we are going I'm going to die cut this first actually. And because I use the 2 and 3 eighths on this, I'm going to use my stitched or my stylish my stylish shapes dies, which have the stitching, okay? And this is size number three. All right, so it's the middle die, okay? If you count down from the outside, this is the third size, which actually fits this really well, okay? So we can do it two ways. We can stamp it first and then die cut it however, however you want to do it. All right, so again, ink this up with our Tuxedo Black Memento. And I'm using the Tuxedo Black Memento because I'm gonna color the stamped images with my blends. And I'm gonna put this right here in the middle of my, this is just a leftover scrap of the basic white that I've got. I'm gonna pull in my, my mini machine here and I've got plate number one. All right, clear plate number two. Then I'm going to put my cardstock on here and then I'm going to put my circle die all right so that this third size of the stitch shape it's a little bit smaller so it's going to cut right tight to the stamped image and then go ahead and put clear plate number two on top crank this through So when we take that out, all right, pop that out. Look at that. We have a nice stitched detail around it. So I love that our circle punches and our stylish shapes dies work so nicely together. And then we're going to layer these. And you have that nice Tahitian Tide border around that, okay, for an extra little pop of color there. Okay, so I'm going to bring in some some chipboard here you can tell i've used this one before we've got that we're going to use this other scrap of paper and because we're using our next destination travel set i think we need we need some sunglasses and our our plane ticket all right i guess this is going to be we're flying to our destination this time um and i'm gonna pack my backpack my carry-on all right so We've got our sunglasses with our tickets and our backpack here. All right, so again, we're gonna ink these up in some Tuxedo Black Memento ink. I'm going to stamp these onto this scrap of basic white. All right, I'm holding it just a little bit because I wanna make sure that ink transfers. All right, go ahead and ink this up and then stamp this on here too so i think you guys can tell i'm getting ready to do a little bit of um, a little bit of fussy cutting with these all right okay so let's go ahead let's color these first and then we'll use our snips 
to fussy cut them. All right, got my snips ready. All right, so our colors are drawn from the Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper. So of course I have Lemon Lolly and that's going to be perfect for the sun in the middle of our Circle Sayings stamp. All right, so I'm going to um, do my bold marks here with the dark Lemon Lolly. All right, this part's just a little tedious, but I like having these little marks highlighted. And I lately I've been, I think I usually do work from dark and then go to light, okay? So I'm gonna take the light with the brush tip here and color inside my circle, all right? And I'm leaving the outside as it is. And so that was Lemon Lolly. And then we're going to pull in Tahitian Tide. All right, our new Tahitian Tide. And again, I'm gonna go with my dark first to, and be careful around here where your Tahitian Tide and your Lemon Lolly meet to give yourself a little bit of space because you guys know what happens when blue and yellow mix right? You end up with green. And I don't want green waves. Okay. I mean, unless maybe there's like a jellyfish riding, riding the waves or maybe a sea turtle or something, but um, <laughs> so I'm going to take this dark Tahitian tide. All right. Don't be afraid of color. I'm going to come in here and just highlight, highlight these wave marks. Okay. And then we're going to use the light Tahitian Tide. I'm going to keep this froth uh, from the crest of the wave. Um, I'm going to keep that white for now. All right. And you're going to see, I'm actually going to pull in a little bit of pool party. Now with this wave, I'm going to take it all the way to the edge. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking here. All the way to the edge. And then, boy, it's getting dark. I think we are going to get a storm here pretty soon. I guess. All right. And then come in here with pool party. And then I'm going to do another little trick, too. I'm going to take this pool party, and I'm going to go right around the outside edge of my, just lightly, not getting too much too close to that yellow, because, again, I don't want my panel to turn green, but just adding a little touch of sky behind there. Okay, so this panel is done. This one I can go ahead. I'm going to double, I'm going to double dimensional this. All right. So I'm putting three dimensionals on my main panel, a little triangle, a triad there. This is going to layer onto my two and three eighths Tahitian Tide Circle. And then again, I'm going to come in here and do another three dimensionals on this okay and then this is going to be the center the focal point here on my card so i'm going to place this right underneath my discover right in the center isn't that fun i love that extra so it's it's just dimensional so it will squish it will be okay uh, for mailing but um i just love the extra pop there hi polly how are you doing oh thanks karen have Wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for joining us on your lunch break. <laughs> oh, good, good. Okay, so we've got, you can see it's coming together a little bit. Let's go ahead and color these as well. So I didn't, you know, tickets are generally black and white for, you know, if you actually print out nowadays, goodness, you get your boarding pass on your, on your phone and you don't even have to print it out usually. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take my pool party and just color, color that just a little bit of color on there. Okay. And I'm going to put a little pool party in the lens of my, um, my sunglasses too. All right. And then we are going to go bright and fancy on our sunglasses because this is a tropical destination. And I'm going to take my berry burst 
And we are going with some very burst frames here. All right, we're, we're going Hollywood style and uh, we're feeling fancy, okay? All right, so just a little bit of, a little bit of color there, okay? And then we're gonna take our snips and just come right around the edge of those. Okay, you can get as close or leave yourself a little border. It's okay. All right, the nice thing with these images here in the, the Next Destination stamp set is that they are uh, fairly easy. They've got mostly straight edges, so that makes them easy to fussy cut. And then you can use them obviously as elements here on your card, or you can pop them out and use them for elements in your scrapbooking and uh, memory keeping as well. That's actually what got me hooked on Stampin' Up! to begin with. I was a traditional scrapbooker and I was using a lot, you know, back, back in the day, scrapbooking used a lot of stickers. All right, mostly stickers. And when somebody showed me you could stamp and you could emboss and you could pop things up with dimensionals and make your own embellishments because this was you know really pretty much before die cutting <laughs> that you can make your own embellishments for your scrapbook pages and make them 3d and they were so much more fun than just stickers i was hooked that is that is ultimately what got me started with stampin up it's the coolest thing ever all right so i know we use tahitian tine in here i want to go a little bit darker on my backpack so we're going to use blueberry bushel and I'm going to pull in, I'm going to pull in just a touch of pecan pie, all right, because I feel like the buckles on our backpack here kind of has these um, straps. All right, I feel that like the buckles should be just slightly different color there. Okay. And I don't know about you guys, but when it, I love pretty luggage, but ultimately I've discovered over the years that it has to be functional and durable more than anything. So it seems like all the pretty luggage I've had has ultimately ended up being trashed because it just gets tossed around by the airlines. And, you know, even when you go on a cruise, their luggage handlers are amazing. They lift all of that super heavy luggage and have it delivered to your room, which is awesome but ultimately you know it's it's put on conveyors and different things and it's just tossed so it ends up being damaged and on our recent trip to Norway um that that was it for our the last of our pretty suitcases on the way over to Europe we ended up losing a wheel and then by the time we were on our cruise ship, we had lost the second wheel. <laughs> so that made for a fun trip getting back home because by the time we landed back in Syracuse um, to haul the luggage out to our car, we had a big suitcase. Well, we took our medium size. We actually packed fairly well. Um, we had our medium considering we were gone for about three weeks. Um, yeah, by the time we got back to Syracuse, that suitcase had no functioning wheels. <laughs> and so David had to uh, drag it basically um, to the car, which didn't do real well for it. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of shading and highlighting. I did this all with the, um, the dark blueberry bushel here. Okay, going in with some of those darker spots. And then I'm gonna come in with my light blueberry bushel. All right, make sure I get blueberry. Yes, here we go. All right, the light blueberry bushel with the painting tip. And just color that all in. And I hear the rain. So storm is coming. All right, so. That would explain why it got so even more humid today. Okay. 
all right coloring this in so anyways my story about luggage there is that the one thing that did work for me is I took a um, backpack which worked great because that way I could be hands-free and I could strap it over both shoulders which helped to distribute the weight better um, I've seen some beautiful bags shoulder bags but Honestly, if you're carrying that on one shoulder for any length of time, it can get really, really heavy. Um, and, you know, it's not good for, for your neck and shoulders either, which means you get to your destination needing a, a chiropractic adjustment. <laughs> so I actually really enjoy carrying a backpack. That worked really well uh, for functionality um, and just being able to be hands-free then to to carry my little rolling suitcase. All right, so we've got, boy, I'm sorry guys, I got so dark in here that my light is, I'm hoping the light here from the camera is helping. Um, unfortunately, the lamp that I had back here, that took a turd. Um, yeah, at the base of it was metal and it Apparently, this humidity is not great. It completely rusted on me and split in two. So I need to get a new lamp. So I'm putting a couple dimensionals here on my my plane tickets with my fancy sunglasses. And then a couple here on my backpack. And then we're going to put these elements onto our card. All right, so the backpack I thought would be fun. We'll put that over here on the left. All right. Kind of balance it out and then sunglasses will kind of aim here towards the right and then we've got a little spot where we can slip our ribbon right underneath and we'll have a perfect spot for our little just to tie a knot all right i feel like this car this is beach casual so we don't need a we don't need a bow we'll just do a knot here the slightly angled and here and trim this up a little bit too. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a little bit of a summer cough. I guess that's what happens when I talk too much. Okay. Here we go. So this card is just about done. We need a couple embellishments. So like I said, not super fancy, but we do need a little bit of bling. So these are the Tinsel Gems four pack. There you go. So if you are ordering stamps tomorrow, okay, add a pack of these tinsel gems. You get either the three pack or the perfect embellishment for, for your projects this summer. And I'm going to use the lemon lolly here. And let's use, let's use a bunch of these. Okay. So we're going to use, they come in two sizes. we got the small and the large. So I'm going to put a little one down here by the sunglasses and then let's take and put another maybe up here by our backpack and then I feel like I want to I want to do more than three usually I do three but I think I'm gonna do go with five whoops that one's hopping away all right let's do another one over here under dream and then we'll do Let's do one down here by the backpack again. Oops, space it a little different. All right, which means I can do one more small one. We'll keep it a fifth. We'll go right over here, okay? So they're kind of dancing around the card. What do you guys think? Super fun, right? <laughs> Love it. Oh, good, Kathy. I'm glad you're loving the colors. Oh, Polly is adding next destination to her her 15% off stamp sale order tomorrow. Awesome. Oh, Wendy said she sent the rain. So, all right, good. We'll send some sunshine your way. We'll do a trade. <laughs> Sounds like a fair plan. <laughs> okay, so that was card number one. What do you guys think? Is that not the cutest combination? Circle sayings and next destination. Perfect travel card. All right, so for the next one, I'm going to use that other half of my lemon lolly cardstock okay so we'll do a lemon lolly again for our card base five and a half by eight and a half fold up 
four and a quarter. Thank you, Terry. I'm glad you like them. This time, let's do let's do portrait style. Okay, so let's combine that with a little berry burst this time. All right, we'll go we'll go fun and bright. Again, I actually have my basic white layer for the inside, so let's let's just stick that in before I forget about it. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Ooh, the wind is picking up. The trees are waving outside my stamp room window here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do berry burst. Uh, we're gonna keep the measurements the same. So the berry burst is four by five and a quarter, same as the Tahitian Tide. Then our basic white layer is three and three quarter by five. Okay, same as here. Um, for this one, Let's see, this one, I want to use this fun travel case with the camera and the travel journal. So let's get that ready. We'll do this one. And let's use the adventure sentiment here. Okay. So I'm gonna swap out my Explore, Dream, Discover. And get my Enjoy Your Next Adventure mounted. And then instead of the backpack here, I'll peel that off and we'll use our stamp case. All right. So for these, let's just kind of, this one I did not have fully laid out. This one I actually kind of had pre-planned. Um, in fact, that reminds me, I do have um, a blog post for this card. Uh, my blog is justbecreativecardiology.com. All right, this is my most recent post. Um, I actually participated in the Stampin' Up! Trip Achievers blog hop yesterday. There was only like five or six of us that participated. So it's a short little hop, but I created this card uh, for that. So the measurements are written on my blog post along with the full um, product list there as well. So go ahead and check that out, justbecreativecardiology.com. All right. This one I did not have planned, um, but thinking similarly, no, what did I do with that? paper. Here we go. All right. So for this, I'm thinking I'm going to, again, keep it simple. We'll put maybe our designer paper here on the left. Our stamp case will be down here in the bottom right. And then our sentiment could go, although that's horizontal. I was thinking, hmm, what do you guys think? Should we go horizontal landscape and do the sentiment like that or should we go portrait and if we did portrait I think I would put the designer paper at the top with our sentiment at the bottom and then the stamp case mm. all right if I do that let's pick a paper to go with it and I was kind of thinking since we've got the camera and the journal that maybe I would go with, there was a, like a bubble pattern, this one. This is kind of, I was thinking, kind of reminded me a little bit of like the Boca, Boca dots from like film. Okay, that's, or this, this one's pretty too, but this one has the other colors. So what do you guys think? Should I do the multicolor? All right, Kathy likes the portrait. Okay, good, so let's do that. And I think we should go with color. Oh, can you guys hear it pour? Ooh wee. All right. Um, I think let's go with the bolder, the bigger dots. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to cut this. And so let's do, let's cut it first at three and three quarters. So it's the same size as the, the white. Okay. So we're going to it three and three quarters. And then, should let's go ahead, let's do, okay, good. Kathy said she agrees with the color. Let's do a square. We'll do three and three quarter inch square, which will leave us room at the bottom for our sentiment. And then we can um, stamp and fussy cut our, our travel case. I think that will work. Okay, so let's stamp this first and I'm going to go ahead and just stick with the um, tuxedo black. I was thinking maybe I would do berry burst but I want this all to kind of tie in. So 
let's go ahead and stamp this at the bottom. All right, we're gonna aim for the center, center bottom. Ooh, I love it, came out nice. Okay, so since I've got my ink and everything here, okay, so now we can take our designer series paper. All right, and this is going to go at the top. Remember, I cut it at three and three quarters square, so it should be the same size. Okay, and all right, let me stamp on this little scrap here. We'll stamp our travel case, and that way I can put the lid on the ink pad. Okay, if you notice me smushing the ink, that's because, like I said, the tuxedo pad is a linen pad. It's not nearly as juicy as the firm foam um, pads as the other colors. So that one, this one needs a little bit a little bit more uh, heft. Okay, there you go. So we've got that nicely stamped and that is ready to be colored over here. So we'll get that ready. Okay, so ribbon for this one, you may have noticed we do not actually have any Berry Burst ribbon in the catalog. Uh, we had some a few years ago when Berry Burst was an in color and I loved that ribbon. Um, I, I thought maybe I had some still in my stash, but I think I actually used it all. So I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Uh, we had our ribbon, sheer ribbon combo pack. Uh, of course, I had the Tahitian Tide. It's got lemon lolly and bubble bath. Well, bubble bath is not exactly, it's not exactly the color I wanted. I want berry burst. So check this out. If you take your berry burst ribbon and let's cut a little section here. All right, hold it a little bit longer than the width of your panel. Then come in here with the brush tip, all right, the brush tip of your Berry Burst ribbon and just gently hold this, okay? You can actually apply your stamp and Blend directly to your ribbon. And because the blend is an alcohol marker, that ink dries pretty quick, okay? All right, so there's piece one, and we're gonna need a second little piece for our knot, so let's cut, let's cut that. Right now, we'll color them both at the same time. Again, just kind of hold the ends and do the middle, and gently do the brush tip here. Um, and I like that with this ribbon, too, you still get that little silver sparkle border on there, okay? Just add color just till it's even. All right. Super fun, quick. And so I only got just a little bit of blend on my thumbs. <laughs> Not too bad. All right, so like I said, it dries pretty quick. We'll put the adhesive here on the back of our main panel. Then go ahead and put that Berry Burst ribbon right across the front. Okay, then we'll tack this down onto our Berry Burst layer. Okay, then this is ready for the card base. And that's another fun combo. I'm liking this Lemon Lolly for the card base. Nice little soft, it kind of reminds me of like Lemon Chiffon actually. <laughs> or Lemon Meringue, it's a soft yellow. Okay, this is our Piece. I'm going to tie that after we put our stamp case on here. All right, I'm going to keep my camera black. Let's kind of keep with the color scheme. So maybe we'll do our buckle. I guess we'll come in with some, a little bit of pecan pie for our buckle. And then our, our handles. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, let's do the darker color. We'll do darker in the center here. And then we'll pretend this has leather handles. So we'll do the dark there as well. Okay, uh, let's see here. What colors should we, should we do? Should we do, I feel like we need a, let's go, All right, 
So what color do we do? Oh, the power just blinked. Um, hopefully my internet still holds. Yes, that is the rain that you hear, Kathy, and hopefully my video is continuing to run, um, even though we've lost power. Um, yeah, the light here in my stamp room is completely out. Um, so hopefully <laughs> this keeps going, even though my internet is now dead too. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. You guys can tell. Uh, we're going to color this. I'm going to cut this out here, just in case the video totally stops on me. I can hear thunder now. Okay, so this way I can at least show you, in which case if the video stops, I'll post the picture. But I'm cutting this out. This will be our focal image here on our card. Okay. All right, so just gently cut this out. It's not... Like I said, the images in this next destination set are all pretty easy to cut out. All right, so I'm gonna put this here in the center and then we'll do a little loop here. All right, and we'll trim that up nicely and we can always secure it with a um, mini glue dot underneath there if we need to, just so angle that ribbon. All right, good, okay, good. So I'm glad you guys can can still see that. Uh, what color should we go with our travel case? I feel like maybe the notebook, let's go with the, let's go with blueberry bushel for our notebook here. Okay, a little traveler's journal okay all right and then our case so should i go with should i go with lemon lolly or how we could go bold with parakeet party or let's see here or i could just go with the um We could go with Tahitian Tide. We could like totally go bright on this. Let's do that. Okay, we are we are going bright and actually I feel like it needs to be parakeet. I don't know. Maybe something about the green in here. Let's do that. This is a total crazy travel case, but hey, if we're going to the tropics, then this is like a Caribbean Caribbean fun. We just need a tropical drink to go with it which with this heat you know i'm thinking a pina colada or a margarita might that might be pretty good <laughs> okay all right so let's just add a little bit of shading let's highlight some of those here with the darker blend and then actually i kind of like that what do you guys think i'm i'm liking this parakeet travel case okay and just come in here all around and ooh, ooh la la okay let's add some dimensionals to this and let's go with four that way it can kind of hug hug the ribbon a little bit. Okay. Super fun. Let's center that here above our sentiment. Okay. And there we have it. All right, so now we just need a few jewels. Again, our tinsel gems work great in this case and we could go let's go with the berry burst tinsel gems how about that this one is just like ready to pop off the card so let's let's do a couple over here 
and then maybe a large one. Oh, there you go. How about that? We'll put it right in the center of the camera. <laughs> Even though you would have, you probably have the lens cap on if you were traveling, you should have to protect your camera, but it's kind of fun. All right, so there we have it. Bright and beautiful. That is the name of the designer series paper, but I think that's fitting for these fun travel cards here. All right, so we've got that. Again, this used the circle sayings and the next destination stamp set. All right, so bright and beautiful paper stack, circle sayings, next destination. We used all the colors that were pulled from the bright and beautiful paper stack, um, including our tinsel gems four pack here <laughs> and our stamp and blend so super fun combo really fun cards perfect for summer or any of your travel travel needs whenever that may be we like to travel in the winter because of course then we can go some more warm and escape the snow and the cold but exciting things happening again tomorrow uh, it's June, oh, it's June, July 19th. All right. It's Wednesday. Uh, one day only 15% of all, all stamp sets in the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. Okay. So that means the online exclusives like the trucking along, trucking along, the stamp set is back in stock. However, now the truck punch is out of stock. So if you ordered your truck punch on its own, now you can get the stamp set. However, the online exclusives are not included in the 15% off sale. So that means annual catalog stamp sets only. All right, see if that reconnects a little bit. Like I said, we lost power, which means I lost internet. Glad we held. So at least you could see our finished projects. And if you spend $50 tomorrow, you can choose a free stamp set from my list of freebies. All right, and if you order $75 or more, um, you get to choose two free sets, okay, from my from my stash. So uh, your $50 or $75, whatever that can be, um, you don't have to just order stamps. You can order whatever you want from, from the online store there. All right, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed today's projects. Have a great afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And I look forward to stamping with you again soon. On Friday, join me here uh, live on YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern time. I got my summer fun paper pumpkin kit. So we will be making fun fold cards. With, again, keeping that travel beach theme alive. Uh, summer fun, fun fold cards on Friday. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.